Hi and welcome you to the first episode on my channel KWG Journals. Uh, we are here today at the New Way National Park which is a good five and a half hour drive from Kigali city and we are here today to do the canopy walk. No, I thought uh, since we're here, uh, I'd like to introduce Mr. Alphonse, who is the owner of First Class Tours, and he's the one who has brought me here today. Uh, we are a group of six. Uh, it was supposed to be a group of uh, 24 in a coaster, but uh, 16 of them cancelled, is it? Of course. Okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, some of them were international tourists and some of them were national tourists. But uh, despite that cancellation, Mr. Alphonse, he arranged uh, a vehicle immediately just for the six of us and he joined us for the trip as well. Now when you're hiking, uh, whether it's ascending or descending, you have to be smart. You need to know where to step, where not to step, what looks slippery and does not. Especially when you're descending, because even though they give you a stick and uh, you happen to slip while descending, you're most likely to knock your head on something and then bleed to that. However, when you are ascending, you're still bound to slip and fall, but most likely you would just break your nose. Still bleed, but maybe not to death yeah don't slip point made I hope another thing about hiking is uh, maintain your pace um, you should be at the same speed that you started off with when you end as well and uh, try to try, try to Breathe through your nose and uh, talk less. The exact opposite of what I'm doing right now. Another thing about hiking is uh, if you're in a group, <coughs> excuse me more, if you're in a group, don't worry about how fast or how slow your team members are going. Um, if they need assistance, Leave them, leave them and walk solo. The cost, um, I paid Mr. Alphonse at uh, first class stores about 90 thousand Rwandis franc including the transport the COVID test it's a rapid test uh, he's offered us the entry of the park and uh, lunch and drinks as well so now I assume we are going to have the lunch and drinks 
as we reach back or so I'm hoping because I'm hungry the view here it's worth it it's worth it 90,000 for all of that is uh, still economical because if I were to travel by myself I would need fuel for about uh, 50,000 francs up and down that's approximately 50 US dollars mm. and then the entry I'll have to go upstairs and check the entry prices to make sure that uh, uh, I mean there is a difference between what the residents pay and the citizens pay and the East African community pays and international travelers pay but I'd like to check the rack rates so that uh, I can define whether this trip was economical or not more or less it looks like it's economical because uh, 50 dollars in fuel is already quite much the view here though So, Mr. Alphonse, yes, please. How was your hiking today? Oh, it was so amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the entire group enjoyed it as well. Uh, uh, is this your first time here, or have you been bringing many groups here? Oh, this is for first time coming here with some tourists. Okay. Uh, with plus the other four group just for family trip with my family. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I see. So this was your first trip here. And that is why you were so determined, even if people cancelled, whoever was still willing to go, you brought them here. Uh, most tour travelers, they have more comments, so everybody can take decision according to his willing. So just you have to let them keep talking and show how you okay. vocation. <laughs> okay. So I just, uh, another thing I want to know is, what are the usual rates here for the entry of the ticket? I mean, park entry for... for for the citizen, the residents, do you know the rates? Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, for the citizen, it is five USA dollar. Okay. Uh, for international, it is six USA dollar. Okay. While for international residents, it is a fifty. Okay. USA dollar just for entry without transport or everything. All right. Yeah, sure. But uh, do tour operators get a discount for bringing people here? in a package uh, yes of course but the discount comes from above 10 people oh, so okay. we get such percentage okay yeah all right so for the under 10 there's no discount okay yeah sure all right is there anything you want to tell to our viewers today yeah of course i have a lot of things to talk uh, because for me life adventure is a life okay i really like adventure okay uh, without adventure, you can come in the camera you can come oh, inside. Louis, just come. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Louis, uh, Mr. Alphonse, he was telling me uh, about how he likes adventure and uh, how he. Uh, this is his first group that he's bringing here. Wow. He, I was just discussing with him the rates and everything. Mm. How was your trip today? Uh, you should be asking. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi. Hi. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. You how about tired? you? Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, so but how But I is... enjoy it. Of course. Yeah. Oh, I have a question for you. Uh, please ask. Oh, so, how was your new experience in Uganda today? Uh, actually, my experience is good as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, the first... At the starting, I was wondering if it will be successful or not. Mm -hmm. But now it has, of course, we enjoyed the, the trip. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a long journey, but we enjoyed. We came here and we went in Kanop Park. It's my first time to go there. Yeah, sure. I really enjoyed and I'm sure I will come back again with the other group. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. So, you know, it was so difficult because in tourism we have two types of adventure. Mm -hmm. We have hard adventure mm -hmm. which is comprised with more 
risks mm -hmm. and you have a soft adventure. So for here we have hard adventure. How about it? Oh, it's cool. What shows that it was hard? Of course, you have a stick. Ah, yeah. Yes, okay, that's somehow stick. challenging as the big one like me. Yeah, we were so tired. Yeah, so hiking. Uh, we were sweating. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, and the second. This was so hard because canopy walk mm -hmm. is a, a high bridge. Mm, yeah. If you make a small mistake, mm. you are going to lose you your You just life. fall down. Yes. It was That's why scared. always have to go with a professional guide. Mm. Oh, yes. wow, Thomas like you. Protectors, rivers, <laughs> and advice, motivation, something yeah. like that one. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's good. Yeah, I hope next time we are going to come with yeah, we oh, were sure. Yeah, oh, but you have a guide here. Mm. Hi. Hi. Can you talk? Yes, <laughs> something very What's about? Uh, just you, can you tell us about this area? Uh, well, how is your experience when you're guiding different of people? Is there any challenge that you meet or yeah, something there, like there, that? Yeah, sometimes. Just share with us. Sometimes you meet with the client who are not physically fit. Uh -huh. They wish to do activity which is difficult to compare to do to their physical fitness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's complicated and get to the forest. They spend long time and what my So how what do you do? Yeah, you can try to wait in here. Mm -hmm. or in the Other challenge that we meet, or sometimes you need to find that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Some, because here we see different kinds of mm -hmm. they can ask challenge questions. Mm -hmm. Like what? <laughs> uh, for example, why uh -huh. is the rate for uh, non citizen residents more than for the residents? Yes. For the inter that, international, yeah. I understand. That. Yes. As residents, we are the same. <laughs> ah, for residents and you know, non residents, the, the price are different. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, actually, it's a way of uh, uh, motivating the local people, uh, interested in tourism. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang.